look at these words here next to it. It says, I've prospered. Okay, so it blinds us to how we've got to where we are. But secondly, and I need nothing was the heart of this church. I need nothing. I'm fine. All right? And then Jesus says, you say that, not realizing that you are wretched and pitiable. And these are harsh words, but remember, Jesus loved the church in Revelation. He loved the rich young man. He loves us. He's saying, you honestly think that because of your wealth and your life is comfortable and your life is easy and you've got a bit of God, then you don't need anything. And so this second aspect of riches, they blind us because they, they deceive us about the quality of our life. They deceive us about the quality of our life. When we are a wealthy, the, the challenge is, is that often wealth can kind of anesthetize us at times to the reality of our poverty before God. Yeah? My relationship with God's not great, but my life is so comfortable on an average day level that I kind of numb that and so I need nothing. That's what he's saying. And so wealth is terrifying because it allows us to live like the waking dead and just to be like zombies who live through our life without realizing that we are not meant to be designed as Christians, if you're a Christian today, to be living in a lukewarm way. It's, it's, it, God, is, God is heartbroken over lukewarm Christians. He's not ambivalent to it. It's not like, oh, well, it happens to us all. He's heartbroken. He says, you say, I need nothing, and yet you are wretched. Before God, you might have the most designer clothes and the iPhone and everything, but if your soul is lukewarm before God, I love you, but you're lukewarm is what he's saying. And actually, you're deceived. You're being ripped off, he's saying. You're being ripped off. You think, I've got a bit of God and I'm kind of lukewarm, but in my life, he's being, you're being ripped off is what he's saying. You're being deceived about the quality of your spiritual life now. 